boys. We reached 20 subs. Yay! Okay, so because of that, I'm making a tutorial how to tune your car to become a RWD. If you're stupid and don't know what that means, it means rear wheel drive. If you still don't know what that means, then um, just Google it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go right into it. So first, get a car. Wait, but slight brick, I already got my car. It's this thingy. So trusted you. I thought I could too. Jokes aside. Unicorns can burn. Anyway, so I got my car here. So this is the 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 Matsu Cavalier X. Not gonna lie, I can't pronounce this car's name, but yes, I have it linked in the description because I am a good person. So I'll make it simple here. So once you have this car, what you're gonna want to do is first shove your camera in in here and look for the the motor like this now this motor can indeed drift but it is not as powerful as you think so you're gonna want to go to motors and grab the this motor here for the fast street cars and put it inside okay I think it's exposed a little bit so you here you can already see the settings and these are all on default um, I don't really think you need to change any of these. The only time I do mess with the gear ratio scale is if I think the car is way, way too fast and I cannot hold my drift down. Instead, it would just like go forward into a barrier. Only mess with it if it's either too, if you feel the car is a bit too slow or too fast for your liking. If it's too fast, I just normally put 1.2, but I think for now it's already good. This car is a front wheel drive, so what you want to do for all cars if you, when you tune it, you want to go here and just slowly go inside the tire, grab the axle. When you see my challenge videos, you know I put the steering angle at 60. It is not driven, there is no handbrake, but I just leave this alone. Now press B and then suspension stiffness, make that 14. And make a suspension travel also 14. It's great for drifting, trust me. Now do the same for the other wheel. Just slowly put your camera inside the wheel, do this, and then that bang. And now it's ready. Now, like I said, this car is a front wheel drive, so do this, go here, and just simply put is driven on. Do this for the other side as well. And there you go, you have your first rear wheel drive car that can drift if you have experience. So now that you're here, do not start moving yet. You want to make sure that you really have this option on uh, because if you don't, then you will not be able to drift. So what you want to do, escape, options, gameplay, and enable manual transmission. I've already done that, like why wouldn't I, I always drift. So if you're not familiar with manual transmission, to shift up is shift, like literally left shift. And then to shift down is left control. Now if you're new to manual transmission, get used to this first. Because if you don't then, it will also interfere with drifting. Unlike automatic transmission, um, the handbrake will not automatically just go off when you start like accelerating. Instead, you have to manually do it, you probably already know this, you have to press spacebar and it will come off. And press it again, it comes back. So, let's try getting your first drift down. So, to initiate, you're going to want to go to your corner, let's just say the turn is going to the left. So, when you're not too far away from it, I normally let go of W, and then I tap the handbrake, let go of it, then I I slightly steer my car to the left, and then and then I basically just let go of A, then just gun it. And then when I feel my car is going to spin out, then that's when I start counter steering. So let's just do what I just said. So this corner here goes to the left, 
so I you let go of W, tap the handbrake, turn to the left, and then just let the car almost spin out, and then I counter steer and then just gun it. So I'll do it again. So here, just watch it. Simple as that. Although, maybe not if you're still, like, new to this kind of physics. So, one last time. So, gun it, let go W, tap the handbrake while also turning to the direction of the turn. Gun it, almost let it spin out, and now I'm just counter steering. Although, usually what I do, instead of just, like, gunning it after I turn it, I just, like, I just do, like, this. Yeah, I don't, I don't really gun it, I just like hit the handbrake and turn to the direction of the turn and like, you know, in like in a really wide angle so that I don't, so that all I have to do is just press D and then just gun it. So, how do you hold a drift like brick? Well, good question. What I basically do is just, is just play with the counter steer button and the acceleration. So if I'm counter steering on this turn, you're gonna want to press A. Now normally when you see me drifting, you always notice that I'm doing this. The reason why I do that is obviously to maintain a stable drift. You also want to keep doing, you also want to keep doing this when you're drifting. Even if you look at my videos when I'm drifting, you will definitely notice the RPM meter do this. That's also to maintain a drift. So basically, you're gonna want to do those two things at the same time. Yes, this can take a while to get used to. So basically, it's like you wanna do this. Yes, I know, that is a lot of spamming keys you gotta do. But obviously, you're trying to drift in a game that is not intended for drifting. It's not even intended to be realistic anyway. Although from what I know, the time that it took me to uh, like master drifting was like, what, like, like three or four weeks, some, or who knows, even maybe even a month, because there's no such things as drifting tutorials in this game. Now I am a bit like, my apologies if my explaining isn't well, but if you are a fellow friend of mine, then you know that I am horrible at explaining things. But I am trying my best. Just let me know if just you know, let me know in the comments if you're kinda of having trouble. I'll attempt to help you. So basically just watch what I do here. Now that's what you want to do. Now I can tell some of you are asking, Slidebrick, how do you do a 360 entry? Well, I'm not going to teach that yet because first off, I'm still learning how to do it. And second of all, you will not immediately master that. You have to at least know how to like, you need to master drifting first before doing 360 entries. Although, although if you're already someone who like before drifting was already good at 360s then it shouldn't be a problem but even though that I'm still learning it and I can't teach it to you yet because you're still new when you're watching this possibly you wanna uh, I'll just like I was saying I'll just do a 360 entry although does this car have laps? I can't tell Also a big tip for you guys, um, you want to make sure your car does not have flaps because it will just absolutely prevent you from going sideways. I mean, that's what flaps are intended for anyway. So normally what I like to do is just search the bottom of the car and try finding to... Yep, this car has flaps. So what you want to do, when you find a flap, you want to press B and just 
press delete on all of them. Now I know some of you watching this video may have had a difficult time trying to understand this. It like in either me trying to explain how to do it or like just simply how to do it itself. So if you're struggling to like to do all the tuning and all or you're just a completely lazy person, I already like uploaded this thing or 350Z into like the workshop. Now, I did not create this 350Z, I only modified it, but, yep, Drifter and Training, this car is tuned and ready to go for drifting, just make sure you have manual transmission on and attempt to do the things that I kept saying, like, throughout the video. Now, that is something that you should also take note of, in brick rigs, some cars are extremely good at drifting and some cars just absolutely suck at it. This car doesn't suck at it though, it it drifts just fine. Why else do you think it's the one, my main car? It's also good for 360s. So this is just, you know, a reminder or just a refresher on how to tune your car. So first, get inside the hood. Yes, sometimes cars look like this, and you just want to keep searching for the motor. Alright, so remember, if it uses this kind of little pathetic motor, get rid of it and replace it with this motor. Do not get it confused with this motor because it does indeed sound the same. So from there, you just want to put it in here. Then you want to put your camera inside the wheel, grab the axle, 60. Now, sometimes, depending on the car you're getting, they already did the rear wheel drive modifications for you, and all you have to do is just change the steering angle, and do this, this, and that. And after that, you should be good. Alrighty everyone, so that was my short tutorial on how to tune your car to become an RWD and how to drift, sort of. Now just let me know like on Discord or in the comments if you have any difficulties and I can try helping you out. And honestly, all vehicles are in the description below. I, I am not that type of person that just leaves you in the dust. Anyways guys, keep those tires screeching and I'll just see you again.